so Kenton is moving it. Yeah, it particularly likes that one, right? Uh, this plant's from South Africa. It's a tropical. Yeah. Did wow, oh wow, they've really dug up the roots. And the, they don't seem interested in anything else, just that. Hopefully this trip to Agori African Market in Raleigh will distract Kenton from all those squirrels because they really pissed him off digging up all our potted plants or a lot of the potted plants, which is why the deck looked a mess. Anyway, so we are in Raleigh right now and we're coming up to the store and come on in. That's where we're going, Agori African Market, International African Market. So you may recall if you've been watching our vlog a while that I've been to this particular store before but apparently they've had some renovations and so Miss Mercy, one of the owners, invited me to come see the store again. So this is Miss Mercy for those of you who don't remember her or are meeting her for the first time. And yeah. The last time I was a little bit shy. Both. Oh, okay. Oh, today she's not shy. Okay. Okay. Say hello. Oh, say hi. So cute. Yeah. So yeah, cute. So we walked on the place, expanded to uh -huh. the side, so it's on double. Okay. Yeah, it looks big. It's dog. open. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Say hello. Say hello to the camera. Say hi. How old is she? She looks like she's about, what, two? She really yeah. wants to get the camera there. She's yeah. about two, huh? Yeah, we are expanded to this side. Mm-hmm. We have the meat section too. Okay. Yeah. That's okay, that's okay. She's got to answer the phones, of course. She has Chin Chin. No, Ewa. No, no, no. Ewa, stop. No, Ewa. <laughs> Oh my lord, so cute. Peak meal, Milo, Nido, Ovaltine. Horlicks, I grew up on Horlicks. I actually haven't had Horlicks since I was a kid. Tartina? What is Tartina? I don't know Tartina. It looks like, um, it looks like, what's the Nutella? Yeah, that's what it looks like, Nutella. Right? No, 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 no. Let's see. I wonder if it's a Middle Eastern brand or Spanish. Not sure. I think we have this one the last time we did. Okay. I like this one. This is new. Let's, mm -hmm. uh, let's give three in one milk, everything, sugar. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Okay. We have the Horlicks. Horlicks, yeah, I was telling them okay. that that's what I grew up with, Horlicks. Oh, yeah. Horlicks, yeah. And then these are all the types of fufu, yeah. okay, oh, like yeah. what and what. Okay. And this is all fufu flour, and then we have the plantain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the rice flour for two on rice. Okay. Yeah. The and Rio which is what? No, so that's pounded yam. Okay. Yeah. And this is 100% yam flour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Plantain yeah. flour, it says. Yeah, plantain flour, yeah. Oh, okay. 100%. Yeah. And then we have the sweet spice here. Mm-hmm. These are all the seasoning section. Pepper soup. Yeah. The little girl is making herself at home, as you can see. Look at her. She looks like a little doll in here. Yeah, because she needs to clean and sanitize before you leave. Let me go out and ask her, what is she doing? So what are you doing? Ewa, that's my assistant. what are you doing? Huh? You want to see? She got the camera. Say that's cheese! 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 Oh yeah! That's <laughs> yeah, Fahari tea. Fahari. Oh, that's tea. Fahari. Black tea. And it's cereal. Okay. A lot, of, a lot of kids like this one. Right. We have different types. We have the, the mixed fruits and wheat. Mm -hmm. We have the maize. We have the wheat itself. 
Now remind people where you're from originally. I'm from Nigeria. Which part of Nigeria? Kogi State. My 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 mom and dad are Kogi State, Igala. Okay. But my grandma and uh, my father's side, my grandma, she's right. Fulani. Okay. Yeah, so okay. It's kind of mixed. All right. I'm from the northern part, <laughs> and I speak Hausa. She speaks Hausa. <laughs> I understand a little bit of. Uh, she says she speaks Hausa. Speak I understand a little bit of Yoruba. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I play around with the Igbo. So okay, yeah. say one word in Igbo. <laughs> say hello. Kedu. Yeah, Kedu. Kedu. Yeah. Oh, okay, no, I don't speak any Igbo. What about uh, Yoruba? Uh, a cabo, a car or something. Baoni, yeah. That Baoni is a... Baoni, that... Are you? Oh, okay. Baoni, yeah. I was gonna say, isn't that give me... No, give me... No. Like, uh, fumi, fumi, something, fumi, something. Yeah, fumi. Right, right, right. Yeah, and Sanu? Sanu, that's yeah. Hausa. That's Hausa, yeah. for sure. Igala is Agba. But the Fulani, I don't know. Aku. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Aku, Aku say something like that. I see. Yeah. Sure. All right, so what can they find in this store that they can't find in American or regular stores? Uh, so, Kenya, mm -hmm. Kenya tea, the fufu, like the cassava, mm -hmm. we have the bean flour. Okay. Yeah, easy to make, you know. Right. Moi moi. Oh, that's that has a Nigerian, uh-huh. Moi moi, yeah, the Nigerian. Flour. Right. Yeah. And like everyone is coming up with their own thing, you know? Like this is TTC. Right. Is our, her product is very, very good too. Okay. Yeah. She has an oil and this is the flavor. Noodle. Nigeria. The chicken and onion noodles. Okay. Palm oil. This mm -hmm. is the banga palm oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's one of one of the best too. And then we have the pampano. So when's the last time you cooked with this? And what did you make? What I do, I go around. I okay. I make a blue tea because I need to tell the customer, you know, the right. quality. When they come in here, they're like, ask you what's the best oil, you know, right. the best one. So you have to like, you know, Okay, and I'm choices. still waiting for her to t teach me how to cook one of these dishes. Yes. <laughs> oh, sorry, baby. Yeah, so we have the Kenya beans here. We uh -huh. have a lot of beans. I have this one. Oh, we call that, that looks like mung beans. Yeah. Asians use this. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah it looks yeah, like mung beans. Drinks. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the drinks here. Okay, the we got, what is that? Alomo bitter. And this is uh, some kind of bitter, like they mix it up with like, maybe the herbs, and it has a little bit of maybe gin. Okay, so is yeah. it alcohol? Uh, no, really. It, it's like yeah. oil flavor or mm -hmm. to go with alcohol? Yeah, to go with. Okay. Yeah. And then it cleans you off, like flushes your system. Interesting. And then we have the sour salt beaters, the black seed beaters too. Right. It's good for back pain, inflammations, you know. Okay. Yeah. Menstrual pain. Mm-hmm. And some people like kind of come back to like tell mm -hmm. us about the the sour salt beaters, the black seed beaters that help with migraine. Okay. Yeah. And I've tried that because I always have migraines, so I mean and then Ribena is definitely something oh, I grew yeah. up with. I haven't yeah. had that in And we have the Agbo here. What is that? Uh, at the, the Yoruba call it so... Uh, oh, my you. Yeah. You I can put water. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> you this can... looks like some tribal <laughs> stuff here. Look at this. Yeah, what is this? Herbs. So you can fill it up with either water or some gin and leave it for like maybe four days. So, so it's like a soak. bark. Mm. It looks like a bark, doesn't it? Yes. Like from a tree? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Different type. So it's yeah. like you drink, like a, you know, the tiny little shot. Ah. Huh. Sorry. Sorry. And yeah. what is it for? Waist pain. Okay, yeah, like back. back pain or yeah. pain. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm sure there's someone who knows what this is. Does, does, it, does, it, does it help with marriage pains? <laughs> <laughs> no, huh? Yeah, and some yeah. allergy. And <laughs> allergies. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ashanti, Ashanti is also good for cleansing, and in the process of taking it, you okay. also notice you're losing some weight. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Might need that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, somebody out there knows what that is. So comment below if you do. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Kenton's really close up on it. 
Yeah, yeah okay. I'm trying to find them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Is this vitamin milk. milk. Yeah, vitamin milk. Okay. Uh, it's soy, soy milk. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. It used to be popular back home. So, like, I, I, I did some research and I gave it to one of our suppliers to like, bring it in for us. Mm -hmm. And we also got. Uh, we just, uh, although she hasn't delivered, we have like uh, Hollandia yogurt, which everyone is excited to like, you know, have. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, <laughs> the chi exotic from Nigeria. Yeah, more is coming. So, okay, awesome. Yeah. And Lisa. this you used to make more more. Oh, yeah. right, right, moi moi, yes. Instead of, Instead the, of the foil or the leaf. The leaf. Yeah. That's right, nice. okay, okay. And that is the Kenyan people. They love that beans a lot. Ah, uh, beans? Yeah. Yeah, I've never seen beans like this before. Yeah. Kenya. And this one, they have the rose, rose cocoa. Okay. Apparently these are bitter colas. Yeah. I don't know this either. So not cola nut, but bitter no, cola. Bitter cola yeah. Okay, and this? So I've forgotten the name of this in Hausa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the English name is uh, peanut brittle. Oh, it's so, like, peanut brittle. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah well, definitely I, I know that. Name for it, like, right. In Hausa. So she also has a large fridge. There's a lot of drinks in here like Malta, ginger beer, coconut juice, um, sour sup. She's got some bread, pull of bread it says. Some spices I think. Tomatoes. Akara. <laughs> Atarugu. She's got some pepper. I'm not sure what this is here, but I'm sure she'll tell me straight ahead. And then a lot of stuff in pouches here. Corn pap, um, cassava leaf, cassava leaf, jute leaf, fresh ota. I'm not really even sure what fresh ota is, but comment down below if you know what that is and what it's used for. Utazi. I've heard Sisi Amisa talk about Utazi leaf and cooking it in stews, so that must be a pretty popular and good thing. Coco yam, water leaf. She also has meat. I guess this looks like oxtail. Yep, oxtail, I'm right. And lamb and fish and turkey. Chicken gizzards, for those of you that like chicken gizzards and um, smoked turkey, smoked herring. So you want them to visit, where are you? Agori International African Market, Atlantic Avenue. The address is 4701 Street 111, Atlantic Avenue. Awesome. And yeah. where's your hubby, by the way? He's uh, a tennis pro, so he's actually playing tennis right Tennis? Now. Oh, wow, interesting. Uh -huh. yeah. I would never have thought that. I was actually doing my lessons in Afro. <laughs> oh, that's how you stay so slim. Let me see, let me back up so oh, you all can see how. So you can see how. <laughs> tennis, yeah. that's nice. Yeah. Okay, meat? In, yeah, in okay. boxes. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me show you those. Okay. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I saw all the meat in the freezer, but... Yeah, here, right? Did you no, 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 I didn't go there. Yeah, we have the walk-in freezer. We said lamb, we said... Wow, oh, okay. Kenton, so they got meat in here. Yeah. They got a walk-in yeah. freezer. Yeah. Wow. So we're actually running out of the whole lamb right now. Right. So we're getting more tomorrow. So if you buy from us, cotton is free. You know, we have good deal, wow. right? Yeah. Thank so you. lamb and what else? Lamb, Go. goats, oxtail. Oxtail. Yeah, oxtails. Wow. A whole lot. Okay, great. Yeah. Great. Fish, tilapia, rice, right, pepper, right. Pork, uh, so many more. The yam. Good price. 70, okay. Yeah, 70 per box. Okay, wow. Yeah. yeah, I have not eaten yam. So next <laughs> time when I have a planned menu, mm -hmm. I know what to come and get. I'm going to leave you now. Thank you so much. Good <laughs> to see you. Same here. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. You're welcome. Yeah.
<laughs> you're welcome. A lot of people anyway from you. So uh, okay, you. you're Thank welcome. You. Yeah. Bye. Bye. See you Bye. soon. Fruit juice. That's like a popular drink in Nigeria too, like a syrup. Really? Everyone loves, loves that. Like, All right, Ken can it, try that. It, it, it's apple drink anyway, but very nice. Oh, thank yeah, you. you'll love it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that tour of Agori International African Market. I think I'm saying that right. Yeah. But anyway, I hope if you are in the Raleigh area, the Triangle area, if you live near Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, uh, Wake Forest, because in fact, we were like 15 minutes from, um, from this place, yeah. um, definitely come check them out. She has a lot of stuff, a lot of African goods. For those of you craving African foods or your traditional foods, definitely come check her out. The store is nice and clean and she has a definitely a large variety of items. Um, she's really nice and if you come, tell her Habiba sent you. <laughs> her name is Miss Mercy. So yeah, if you go, tell her Habiba sent you. <laughs> That little girl was so cute, so cute. Makes me want another child, what? sort of, sort of, <laughs> sort of. I still feel like if I could adopt a child right now, I really would, I really would. So if you got a baby that you feel like is too much for you, feel free to drop her by me. And as you see, I said her. <laughs> I, I, I want a little girl, not a little boy. I just want a little girl so I can doll her up again. Because Mariam is too old now and Mariam has too much attitude and doesn't want to get dressed up, so. <laughs> but uh, we're at the mall. I just wanted to get a little bit of exercise and just, just to get out a little bit. It's quite busy. So I just got a lemonade, for those wondering. <laughs> And Kenton got a jicama. What'd you call this? Jamaica. Jamaica? Jamaica, yeah. Jamaica. What's the made of? You know how you like hibiscus and stuff? Uh -huh. so it's, 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 it's oh, hibiscus that. flowers type yeah. thing? He got that from the Speedy Burritos. <laughs> and obviously next to it is Chick-fil-A. Okay, let's walk. We haven't been walking. Let's walk. So as you can see, the mall is getting ready to close in about an hour, mostly. Oh, but even sitting for like a minute, you just feel so stiff. So you gotta move, 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 move. I definitely would wear that. Phone cover. But the issue is, you know, getting the right size. You can use this one if you want. Um, no, I don't like that. I mean, this is not so bad. I guess this is a uh, light Louis Vuitton, right? Mm, it's supposed to be. Like, it yeah. looked like it, like kind of. Yeah, it's not the Louis Vuitton. Yeah, right. Louis Prison time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, all the nice ones are the new phones. Oh, they don't have the blingy. Mm, no, not at all. I like this one. That's what I like. Even that one's kind of cute. I'm not even like a t-shirt person, but that tiger with the V? Yeah. And is that for a guy or a girl? I guess nowadays things are unisex. But those look like guy mannequins, I think. Can you see me in that? Or would you like the red one? I think like Kareem, he likes more muted colors. But even this might be too busy for him. Kareem's wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Goes back. It'll be an RA. All right. Hey, boo. Here's some pants for you. <laughs> uh, they're kind of cool, but I don't know about on a guy. I don't know. Maybe I'm just still pretty traditional in some sense. I cannot see that on a guy. This is more like Kareem. That's right. Right? This is definitely more like Kareem. This is the stuff he wears. Kareem and Khalid. You know, the gaming stores. 
all the videos and the games and the Xbox. Who wants an Xbox? <laughs> Pre-owned, $159, $259. What is wrong with this girl's hair? Can you tell me? <laughs> the future is in the air, Air Max. Okay. Dillard's, I've already spent enough money when I thought I was going on my trip to Florida and didn't go, so I'm not buying nothing for a while. Okay, okay, Kenton, I can see me in this. I can see me in this. <laughs> So it was really nice to be able to walk because it's so hot outside and it's just not safe to be walking outside. So anyway, you get to window shop and see what's out there. I was also reminded that it was Gay Pride Month because Kenton and I were like, wait, why is every store, or almost every store have the hashtag gay everywhere? But again, it is June and in the USA, it's Gay Pride Month. Now that's not something I grew up with, so it's still somewhat surprising to me. And I know in this sort of cancer culture, you have to be careful what you say, but I'm gonna share a little clip of an experience I had that kind of reminded me of Anyway, I went out today looking for the Tabitha Brown clothing collection. And unless you're a size small, the day after the collection dropped, sold out, completely sold out. We actually went to the Target next to me and they were like, oh, we're not planning to stock the collection uh, because we had the Pride collection. So they have a whole setup for Pride. I'm like, why can't we do both? Why can't there be a pride collection and have the amazing colorful items from Tabitha Brown? Anyway, I didn't stay to argue. That's not, I didn't stay to argue. And the lady who told me, you know, she was actually being quite helpful. She was a lady of color. She merely works there. It's not her decision, but I get it. In some areas, they're just not enough of us. And it's so sad. It's so sad, representation matters. So Kenton and I drove our asses to a bigger target, the Super Target. We went to a Super Target um, closer to Raleigh where there are a ton more people of color. And uh, we went in there, I was so excited. I was so excited. In fact, I'm gonna make a reel. I'm gonna put a reel on Instagram. It was just like a short 30 second compilation of my experience you should check it out follow me on instagram and check it out so yeah we went over there and uh there was her display super colorful super positive lovely amazing just like we see on social media and unfortunately all of the uh plus sizes are gone all of the extra large or large are gone the only sizes available now are small so that is motivation to lose weight but in the meantime i still have to look cute right i still have to look cute hopefully you understand my frustration but if you don't that's okay too i just found it annoying that not all the targets carry the tabitha brown collection and the excuse was that it's pride month and they already have the pride collection so it's just annoying but you know hopefully i'll find something of hers online i don't know why we can't have both are these dolls cute or are they ugly Tell me, comments, is this an ugly doll or is this a cute doll? <laughs> or is this a spooky doll? Mm -hmm. So let me show you the other one. Here's the other one. This one's pretty cute if you're into that. Actually, this looks like a scooter more than a motorcycle, but I'm still not getting on it, Kenton. And then these are electric bikes. So they gotta plug in. Well, they have a battery, yeah. They charge and then you hit battery assist and then they'll, they'll, they'll run the, uh, the gears for you. So like if you go on a hill. This is when you got that kind of money and you just wanna spulge on your grandchild. Yeah. Maybe actually not a lot of money because that's only $3.99, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. That's not that crazy actually. Yeah, just running around. Right. But you know, how small are that's they? Got, that's like for a two-year-old kid we saw. Built-in music. Built-in music? Yeah. 
All right, Kenton wants to go in here, so the little child in him wants to go see what's in here. So we're going in. I have never been in here, would never normally go in here, but let's see. Hi! Just look, these are all kid cars. Wow. Three two-year-old, well, yeah, three, four, no more than four, right? And then bikes, and then more kid cars. And then these are very popular in the South, ATVs, but these are kid ATVs. So how long do you hold on to these lights? Uh, <laughs> it's fully because you think about it. Right. Right. You know? And usually the kids even less than that. They get bored quick. You know, quick. Right. Then he wants something else. I want a Bentley. Right. This. It's sort of like you just. Right. It, it becomes more bragging rights for you. Really? Yeah. Of course, you got to have Macy's. So I'm still to go into there. My mom always used to talk about Saks Fifth Avenue. <laughs> Well, when she comes to North Carolina, we're here. We got our little walk on. Thank you. That heat. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated. It is hot. It's always fun when you can't find the car. You found it? <laughs> We're about to get some more exercise in this heat. Next stop, Home Depot Garden Center. And we don't have anything in particular we want, but let's go see. We are at Home Depot because we haven't been here in a while. This is gardening season. Well, it's actually past gardening season because now it's warm. Gardening season here is usually around the spring. And we're in summer, so, but I haven't actually bought any plants. Even though I'm not here to buy plants, but look at, look at, look at. I don't know. I don't look, know. Look closed. Closed. Yeah, we're in the south. This is not New York. Everything closes early here. <laughs> it's still a surprise for us. Okay, I said I'm not buying, right? I'm not buying, I'm just looking. We got some rosemary. This is good for lamb. Or even chicken. Mm. We got, what's this, spearmint. I don't know spearmint. We have some German thyme. I have some of this. I don't have any tomatoes this year, let's see. They got tomatoes, right? Yep. And they got these interesting candy cane peppers. Look at this. Because they got the little bit of white stripe, you know, like the candy. Candy cane peppers. And here we have little Napoli tomatoes. So these are compact romaine. Romaine or Roma? Roma tomatoes. Roma tomatoes. Oh, I love being surrounded by plants. Plants, plants, make me happy. Abu, should we get anything? Do we need tomatoes? It's up to you. What do you think? Typical man, it's up to me. Why is it up to me? Too, you know? Why is it up to me? Well, because you don't want to serve you. And this is sage. Burrito peppers. Mm. You gonna get a cart? That sounds dangerous. We don't need a cart. Why we need a cart? That means if we pick up a cart, then we're gonna buy too much. No, let's not get a cart. Ooh, cantaloupe. This is the cantaloupe I had today. What is this? Bonnie green bell pepper. Okay, there's some babies. And then you got your regular red pepper. He was not joking. He's coming in with a shopping cart. Oh Lord. See, be careful what you pray for. <laughs> and then we have strawberries. That's one thing I've never planted. Strawberries, they're so cute. Ah, uh, look, boo. 
see this is a nice option if you don't have a lot of yard or you don't like the dirt yeah, I think you see right right oh wait no that's not lavender is it I don't think so I don't know I don't think so no I don't think so because no scent to this this is called yeah, something salvia May 9th. It's attracting bees, but it's not. No, it's not. This is. What is this? What is this called? This is. What is it? There's no name. It just tell. Oh, no. Phylox? P H L O X. Phylox? Wow, so beautiful. I love it. These two tiered. We haven't even gone inside yet. <laughs> haven't even gone in yet. You need a grill? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'd get one. Yeah, I'll get one small one. This is similar to what I just saw. That trails. The small one's five bucks. <laughs> These are succulents. Cute little succulents. And this, I think about growing up, we used to have these cacti. Pretty little cacti. That. Ooh, that's a nice umbrella, boo. We're looking for umbrellas, actually. We need to update our umbrella. It's giving me safari. <laughs> it's got that safari look. I don't know how practical it is compared to, say, that one over there. 130? What's the 39 below it? Oh, okay, so the actual is 130. Yeah, yeah it doesn't look as um, sturdy compared to, you know, the traditional ones. Of course, that one's $500, but it's a big tilt. Well, this would go over the table, that's what it would be. Uh, I see, without having to be stuck in the middle of the table. Right, that's what it is. Well, I've always kind of liked this, to be honest. But, you know, it's a lot in a rectangle. The chair, I think this is similar to the set I have. Yeah. Maybe this one's actually a little heavier, to be honest. Let's put our feet up. Like these cushions. Like this kind of wow, I forgot there's the garden center also indoors. Indoor, outdoor. So, yeah, so much pretty stuff. Okay, we have some gardenias here. It smells so good. Ooh, here's a gardenia flower. Oh, boo, look. It almost looks fake, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's so the, real. Yeah. Oh, they smell like perfume. Yeah. How much? 22. Oh, that's not terrible. <laughs> yeah, you can. You want to say hi? Hi, I'm Chris Mondico. Can I be in your movie? So we're buying decorative plants. <laughs> okay. That guy was funny. Wow, look at this. This money tree is so fat. Boo, look at the trunk. You see, like we have one and wow, this is thick. <laughs> Thick remind me of you. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. So pretty. We have this at home and I'm always cutting off the top, but I didn't know it could get this thick. Look at this. Look. Braided. That's pretty too. These are um, like, well, I call them elephant ears, but that's not the full name. And it keeps going. Oh, yeah. Here's some more gardenias and some um, hydrangeas. Hydrangeas. How do I forget? I'm always talking about my hydrangeas, except ours are blue. Yeah, ours are blue like that, and these are pink. And they do have a lot of pots, but the pots tend to be a little bit expensive, to be honest. You're getting another hibiscus? No, oh, hydrangea. This is oh. a gardenia. Gardenia, you mean? Yeah, okay. These are 30. God, these flowers are beautiful. Can you, you know? This is what you see like back in the day, rich women putting in their hair. You put a oh, gardenia, it's so they, elegant. How they do it. So they, they basically, in us, um, as it grows, they, mm -hmm. they cut it and then they stake it so then it grows like that. Right. It's basically like the whole topiary. Yeah. Like what, yeah, like see Look, this. These are all budding, man. Yeah, that's Crazy. nice. Got a lot of buds on these. That's nice. Saying it can, I've always loved ferns, but they're very picky. You can't have too much sun, they'll dry out. They like humidity, but you got to have a little bit of uh, sun too, just not too much. Greenhouses or a covered porch, they do well. But yeah, they have quite a bit of them. Quite a bit of ferns. So these are like the ginormous pots. Some of these are natural um, and, you know, natural material and some of them are more like plastic. But these are the big, big ones. Uh, it's kind of shallow, but you know. Five bucks. You, for, for that one? For that, or, or there's so many other ones that we have that are sitting in tubs. But right. Like the then you should probably get to get a pair. The music was playing pretty loud. So, voiceover Habiba here. Anyway, I was checking out these pots. These looks very modern, these kind of rectangular ones, and they are some sort of composite rubber, even this giant one, because I really wasn't sure. It looked like it could have been almost stone or clay, but no, it was some sort of composite rubber. And now Kenton is picking up some pots for us. And then we're walking by, there's a lot of, um, bird houses cute little bird houses and you know we have quite a few bird houses to attract them around all our flowers you can get like bird seeds you can get finch wild finch seeds you can even get corn dried corn you can get like so many different things for your garden Woo! it was hot girl it was hot it was hot but anyway i was standing there and my earring fell down and my gentleman husband picked it up for me bent down and picked it up for me so nice Usually when we shop for garden supplies, we typically go to Lowe's, but you know, today we were checking out Home Depot. We haven't been there in a while. I love their selection. This is definitely not plastic. This was like some really heavy stone kind of cement pot. And as I was hitting it, a bunch of birds flew out from some of the other pods. <laughs> Almost startled me. Anyway, they are also selling this tree. I couldn't figure out what this tree was, whether it was like oak. But then as I got closer, it looked like it was, what is it? Japanese maple, but before the leaves go red. So I don't know. Let me know what you think it is. And they're selling it for $2,000, but delivery is free. Honey, if you can spend $2,000, you ain't worried about delivery on a tree. <laughs> but it's a, a pretty, pretty nice tree, right? And then it always amuses me when I walk by the dirt, like, you know, different bags, different variations of topsoil and different types of peat moss and all this sort of stuff. I'm always thinking like, wow, people really buy dirt, including myself, dirt in a bag. Like growing up, I don't remember buying dirt for planting, but let me know, where do you live and do people buy dirt where you're from? I don't know. It's just strange to me, but we all do it. So Kenton is just pointing out these oriental lilies that have so many buds on them, right? Amazing. We have some, but ours don't have this many buds on them. 
Oh, here's some more of these. Wow, if you had like a giant foyer, right? A giant foyer and you got enough light coming in too. Totally obsessed with the trunk of these uh, money trees. <laughs> so beautiful. Then we spotted this dumb cane and in our first apartment in California, Kenton and I had a dumb cane plant. So it just brought back memories before kids. And then we spotted this very unusual plant, which I believe is called a ponytail. It looks kind of like a pony or a horse's tail. And just look at the base of the trunk. It's sort of fat at the base and then it tapers and then it has these whimsical, fun, airy looking leaves. I just love it. So we're going to get one. I was so excited. Going to get one. So he's just making sure that the base of the trunk looks healthy. And I thought this one didn't look too good. So he's putting it back and we're just going to pick up another one because they had so many. But yeah, this looks so nice in my office. So nice. And again, this is the first time I'm owning this particular um, plant. You know, I have a few plants, but I didn't have that one. <laughs> and then we spotted these succulents in a bowl. And I think they're selling them for like 20 something dollars. And we were commenting how I had made a bowl like that. Similarly, myself at home. And I did not spend that kind of money. Also, we saw some rubber tree plants or rubber plant it's called. And I don't have that one either. And I'm trying to add to my collection of, you know, unusual plants or plants that I grew up with. So I got a rubber tree plant also. Of course, you get plants, you're gonna need a nice pot to put it in, especially if it's indoors. These are ceramic pots. These tend to be a little bit more expensive. You can also get clay pots or you can get rubber pots or, you know, they have options. And we're just making sure that the prices of the ones we pick up match, you know, that our expectation is realistic. Because sometimes you pick it up and you think, oh, this is cheap. And then you get to the cashier and you're shocked. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> these are so cute. Look at this, this little miniature. That's so cute. It's like a bonsai. Look at that. It's got like personality. Look like, I don't know. Okay, tell the truth. Tell me that don't look like somebody's butt. <laughs> I'm not trying to be smart. Tell me that didn't look like somebody's butt, the base of that plant. But it was so cute, right? Look at all these miniature vases, how unique they are. So nice. This is the money tree, and this is like a desk size. Desk size. Love that pot. You know what's important right now? Mosquito spray. Mosquito or bug spray. Because that is one thing about this season. No point decorating, making your space so nice and you can't even enjoy it because it's so uncomfortable due to the bugs. Be sure you have an issue with, or used to have an issue with cats on your lawn in uh, Queens, New York. Here we have an issue with squirrels digging up our plants. <laughs> so Ken's trying to find something to um, keep them away. I don't know if this is going to work. This is more like for dogs, skunks, cats too. But it might do squirrels, right? Hell, they even got snake repellent. Are you serious? Look, snake repellent. Hmm, clearly that's a problem here. We could have taken basic stuff from our kitchen, huh? Is what you're saying. And then here, this one has, ooh, just has some more potent stuff in it. Castor oil, cedar oil, cinnamon oil, citronella, clove, dried blood. Dried blood, White really? Pepper and garlic. That's what it says. Dried blood. So now we're at the rug section because I really wouldn't mind a rug. Huh. 240 boo is not that bad to me. No, these are indoor. This is like I'm thinking for the living room. You know, I'm thinking living room, not, yeah. Because I want like a black and white one. These are outdoor rugs um, for your porch or your deck. But they're kind of small. They're like six by nine feet. A lot of gray and... Um,
Then we ended up looking at appliances, cause why not? <laughs> and those were apartment size fridges. So now we're looking at the large family size fridge and also looking at the prices. Look at this. And of course, since I want to be Vanna White, <laughs> don't we all walk into a store and act all extra, pretend we're Vanna White? <laughs> doing the most annoying our husbands anyway this is a nice fridge right it's got the freeze on the bottom hmm not sure how i feel about that hmm and then there's this one for 2800 right you got nearly three thousand dollars to spend you got a beautiful water dispenser you get two french doors you get some nice shiny shelves <laughs> I was just having a lot of fun and Kenton was indulging me. Yeah, this reminded me of the fridge that I had seen in the apartment when we did the Airbnb in New Jersey. It had like the freezer on the bottom also. And then let's look at the stoves. We've got, of course, this one's got a griddle in the middle. We like um, a gas stove. We prefer a gas stove because we really do love to cook, right? <laughs> And making our way to the bottom at that wipe stove. We're not feeling that. No, 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 no. We're not feeling that. That's a basic apartment stove. Now, some of you might prefer an electric stove. Like my brother, he prefers an electric stove because it's easy to clean. Personally, I still prefer a gas stove. Okay, we finally made our way to the cashier. And remember, we did not plan to buy anything, so this is what happens when you come without a plan and you see too much. <laughs> it's dangerous to take me out anywhere. Hey, okay. oops, a hundred dollars. Is that, let me see your face. Let me see your face. <laughs> so we didn't buy uh, tomatoes or peppers or food but we bought a whole bunch of decorative plants. Thank you, Home Depot, for taking our little bit of money. <laughs> yeah, I got a message for that damn squirrel. You're next. <laughs> get you somehow. I'll figure out a way to get you. It's uh, me and you. Uh, get you, you rodent. Turn up my, that's South Af African bush. Don't put it on the South Africans. What South Africa no, got I to do the it? Squirrel, the bush, it's South America. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah that plant yeah. was a special plant a special from plant. South Africa. Okay. South Africa, South Americans. I mean, it was South American or yeah, South Africa? No, South American. <laughs> I said South African. Right. South African squirrel. <laughs> All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Again, don't forget to check out Miss Mercy at the African store. And we look forward to your comments. Thanks for watching. Have you subscribed? Why are you watching us and not subscribing? What is wrong with you? It doesn't cost you to subscribe. All you gotta do is hit that red subscribe button. And if you're feeling generous, hit the like button as well, okay? Thank you so much and we will see you soon. Bye.